Oh my gosh. Well, hello guys. It's Chris here from Futon Talks. Here to t talk to you about the Christmas spirit and caroling. Wow. Father Futon. That's right. Um, Santa Futon, actually. I like that. Um, so, last time, you said you liked Christmas caroling and Christmas music. Now, I have to give a, a slight addendum to what I said, where I said I hated it. I only like one Christmas album. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot. One album. And that's the Charlie Brown Christmas CD. That sucks. It's the greatest. I don't know about that. It's the only one I can tolerate. You don't like Mariah Carey? Yeah, because it's not Paul McCartney's Wonderful Christmas Time. Wow. So, I I used to not hate Christmas music, but ever since I worked at a retail job, the Christmas time is hell. Because... <laughs> Especially when you're on night crew. That's when it happens. It's, it's Thanksgiving. It goes to midnight. It's the day after Thanksgiving. The Christmas music plays. Really? As soon as it hits midnight. Why did they do this to you? Because they hate us. I have a real and it's problem. Also, with that. played slightly louder than the rest of the music. <laughs> How do you feel about all these young people doing TikToks and Instagram reels about how the second the midnight strikes, they like throw the turkey out the window. They put up their Christmas decorations and they, they start playing the music. How do you feel about that? By extension. How do you feel I mean, about I'm fine with that? people like getting ready, like like I said last episode. We already got ready for Christmas for the most part. Um music, no. I don't like the people who like just have Christmas music perpetually playing all month long. It's horrible. My my wife listens to Christmas music on the way to what? To work. <laughs> Isn't it horrible? Like, why? Save it for the day. So, I like Christmas music. I like like five songs. Okay, I like if Jingle you like Christmas music, it would be <laughs> in your playlist and you would listen to it all year long. Yes, you're a fair weathered fan of Christmas I'm music. I am. I am. It's just when it's nice, it's nice. But I hate, I hate all modern Christmas music. Oh. Like if you're coming out with Christmas songs, get out. It's done. They already did it. It's done. They've There's done like it for a hundred years. Right. There's like a couple good ones. Okay. We have our fill. We got Rudolph, which I know everyone hates. I don't care. I like it. We got mm. Jingle Bell Rock. We got a bunch of hymns. Wonderful. Those are great. Louis Armstrong has some good ones. Louis Armstrong. We got a couple good Sinatra's. Michael Bublé's in there. We're done. Yeah, I, the the worst is modern Christmas music, besides Paul McCartney's song. Um, modern Christmas music. You have like the the eras of modern Christmas music. You have the early two thousands with the Mariah Carey's, with the the belting. Yes, the belting. Um, but twenty ten, you start getting to the remixes, the beats, mm. the people seem like. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Are we, we going to do like a Futon a... Talks remix now? <laughs> it's just that was terrible. Beautiful. Terrible. Everyone's like singing through a, a radio. It's all compressed. I. Uh, they all like do this off-tempo jazz thing. Because yeah, they sad. think it's cool. They, they slow things down to unbearable limits. I say... If it's after 2010, it's not good. No more holiday music. No more Christmas music. What's with punk bands I know. doing Christmas music? Who do these people think they are? I don't know. Like, We're... why do normal artists like Paul McCartney, John Lennon, I don't know, some punk bands now, some pop bands, why do they feel like they need, need to make a Christmas album? Or a Christmas song. It makes me angry. Yeah, it infuriates me. I don't like this. Who Who's the audience for this? That's the real question. Car commercials. Car commercials are the problem. I could see that. Yeah, because it's all the Christmas deals. Usually you have Santa 
he's he has his sleighs, but they're instead of reindeer, they're cars. Instead of reindeer, they're Lexus. Yeah, they're exactly Lexus. They're Mercedes. Of course, someone to get someone in debt. It's nice. All the cars have like wreaths on them. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey yeah. driving in the next Lincoln. car over. He's in the Linky commercial. Yeah, <laughs> he's lip syncing something. Speaking of people in commercials, yeah, you never saw Jack and Jill because <laughs> obviously, no. However, I came upon a commercial from the movie that I thought was real because mm-hmm. I've seen it a couple times. Never seen it in the movie because I've never seen Jack and Jill because I have a taste. But this commercial is amazing. I have to show it to you. It's called Dunkachino. Have you heard of this? No. I I might just have to show you. I can't insert it here. Yeah. But Al Pacino walks into a Dunkin' Donuts. No. And uh, This is in the movie? Yes. Of course it is. Insanity ensues. I'll show it to you afterwards. Okay. For everyone out there, look up Dunkachino and then use that as your Christmas song because it's better than anything else that's come out in the last 10 years. But I'm sorry for your sanity. You have to listen to this music since, yeah, since Thanksgiving. Yeah, at work. I feel like it's um, disrespectful that they don't let Thanksgiving breathe. It is. But I'm a Thanksgiving guy. Give it a couple days. Wait till December 1st. Yeah. I feel kind of, you know, kind of spit upon almost. Like they're, they don't, they don't appreciate. But you got to move on so quickly. It's weird that these holidays are so late into the months. Why are they all bunched up? Yeah. I don't like it. You got October 31st, the last day. We got November. But then it would turn into like a Groundhog's Day, where Groundhog's Day is on the second, and you just forget about it immediately. You know, that's right. You kind of have to have that build up. Was this a strategy from like corporations? Yeah. I think so. things? <laughs> they pushed it to the end of the month? Um, yeah, Christmas music is just terrible. But you like caroling. I do not like harassing people. You at don't? their front doors. I love it. Singing songs I don't like to sing. What if you like in to the sing cold? <laughs> oh, there's something With, about it. Are surrounded by people who like doing it. <laughs> that is the hardest part. Um, just like the singing part. I feel like most caroling. Sing to yourself. Is not to actually random people. <laughs> I feel like back in the day that was very acceptable. I can't imagine that caroling, in the traditional sense. Like going to house normal. to house. The thing is this. I think nowadays when you Ringing carol. the doorbells. <laughs> making like, people walk out. Exactly. Like what is this? <laughs> I know that when they go caroling, usually they, they like, it's a prepared route. People know what's happening. Can you imagine? Someone knocking on your dude, door to sing to you? Dude. Because like you have to feel pretty, you have to feel obligated. Once you open the door, you can't close it. <laughs> dude, I but would. I would close it immediately. I would immediately close it. <laughs> I wouldn't open it in the first place. Yeah. Like, because I guess maybe well, I hate Carol. Playing, how can you know? They're really quiet. And then one person, like, rings your doorbell. Oh, and you're like, God. oh, is my family here? It's Christmas time. They should be coming. It's just... And then you open the door, and there's just a mob of people <laughs> with annoying bells at their swing. <laughs> I feel like these carolers that you had are actually just terrorists. I've I've never had this experience. This is the thing. I've had, this was a church thing. Most carolers like sing as they walk down the street. No. And then like people house, open the door if they house. want. Or it was like rant. They would like pick. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like the Manson family. They just like pick random houses that they're going to terrorize. Wow. Yeah. I feel like we should start creepy caroling. <laughs> I was talking to your dad the other day about what they did with creepy crawling. Yeah. And the Mansons would, you know this obviously, but yeah. for the people out there. The Mansons would get into people's homes if they like left a door open or something or a window. Yeah. And they'd just start to rearrange their furniture. And uh-huh. they'd like, you know, they put the toaster on the TV. They'd take the pictures out of the frames and put them in a circle. And then they'd crawl upstairs with no shoes and just like crawl around their bed mm-hmm. and then stand up and like look down on them and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, we call it creepy caroling. We do the same thing. But then we start stinging. Exactly. I like it. As loud as we can. But you know what's even worse? Yeah. We're not actually singing. We just have a boombox. It's Mariah Carey, and we're lip syncing. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
Can you imagine something scarier than that? Uh Uh-uh. The idea of Santa Claus is scary. A large man who can somehow, like like a squid, fit into chimneys. So it's the anatomy that bothers you. And then he walks around your house with a big old bag. He's supposed to, like, put presents around and then, like, eat your cookies, drink all your milk. <laughs> and then, like, he finds your mom and kisses her under the mistletoe. He lures your mom under the mistletoe. <laughs> and then he goes from house to house. It's interesting. I, I think it's interesting that the big bag bothers you. And the anatomic impossibility of him coming down the chimney. Yeah, I mean, it's just like an octopus. Like, when you see those octopus or squid that can find a seam anywhere even in like a glass case they find the seam and they somehow squeeze out wow you've thought about this i feel like you just don't like squid no i'm fine with squid is this about splatoon no (laughs) i don't think about splatoon that's wise for your mental health (laughs) i agree though i i don't i don't like that he steals your food because that's another thing about the music which we i know we've talked about before hypersexual <laughs> and and it's in a way that is very uncomfortable it's almost like batman movie level sexuality almost yeah it's not that bad but it's an it's it's a nerve it's a it's disturbing that like the whole santa baby thing santa in the baby. song where i kiss santa under the tree or something or i saw mom kissing santa yeah i saw I mom like kissing santa you saw your mom cheating on your dad you think you did and you sing about it yeah why did you kiss him when he got in the santa suit i feel like that's kind of weird you know like, it's not weird to kiss your spouse when they're wearing different clothes but like is that a santa thing do people have a thing for santa santa kink like oh, i said before i do not like that santa kinks no it's bad everyone wants to be mrs claus no no one wants to be mrs claus <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to be Santa. How do you feel about the Tim Allen Santa movies? Does anyone feel good about the Tim Allen Santa movies? <laughs> <laughs> I hate Tim Allen, I think. Yeah. Like, what's the deal? I've never liked Tim Allen. And those are those are my least favorite Santa movies. And there's not a lot of good Santa movies. Even uh, Santa Claus 3 with Jack Frost? Oh, you know, you got me there. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh. Um, I like classics, man. Christmas Story. Dang it. So we, we were supposed to, I was going to say we should count down. Christmas Story is my favorite. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's the best one. The Leg. <laughs> what Fragili! <about> is, <laughs> is, there, is there any other one that you like? Um, I think Elf's a little overdone. I think Elf is overrated. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's just okay. Zoe Deschanel, we get it. Yeah, it's the best part of the movie. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot of great Christmas movies, honestly. I mean... Batman Returns. Batman Returns, yeah. Obviously. The best Christmas movie. Uh, but I, I really don't like the Tim Allen Santa. How did those happen? Yeah. I don't like those. Um, National Lampoon's is like... That's a great one. Yeah. Personally. That's like a family one. But it's not really a Chris like it is a Christmas movie, but it's not like a a good Christmas movie, you know? Yeah. I hate the Rudolph movie. Rudolph. Horrible claymation Rudolph. Oh. I hate those old movies. Yeah, they suck. I hate old movies. I hate <laughs> It's not made in two thousand, I don't care. Um I'm trying to think about other Christmas movies. I know there's more that I have a liking to, I think. I feel like there's some I like too, but I can't I remember. Got, I have a phone. I have a phone. I have a phone. I can look this up. Santa I swear, if I see Die Hard on this list, I'm going to throw my phone. Die Hard is definitely not a Christmas movie. I hate Die Hard. Really? I'll just say that right now. I'm not into Die Hard. I like Die Hard 3. You don't like Die Harder? <laughs> <laughs> Die Hard is, I think, a mediocre movie. I don't know why it got so popular. Yeah, who knows? It's just Brucey. Oh, yeah, yeah, Christmas Story. Okay. Old movie, 1946, It's a Wonderful Life. Who cares? Oh, I love It's a Wonderful Elf. Life, actually. National Lampoons. Oh. Home Alone. 
Is that even a Christmas movie? It's uh, it's on the list. Well, it's a winter during it. I guess it's a Christmas it movie. Christmas during it. <laughs> so? He, cr- he has Christmas by himself. I don't feel like that's... Home Alone 2? Good enough. It's just another year. It's Christmas again. Wow. Um, Christmas Chronicle, blah, blah, blah. Scrooged with Bill Murray. No. Uh, I hate the... Uh... Oh, Jim Carrey the Grinch. I hate the Grinch, actually. You hate the Grinch. I really hate... It reminds me too much of Tim Burton. Dr. Seuss, I despise you. I I can't do anything, Dr. Seuss. It bothers me in the same way Tim Burton does. I feel like there's only like two good Christmas movies. Oh, look. This. Oh, look, our favorite, Nightmare Before Christmas. What a freaking surprise. What a thunk. Um, I was Christmas with the Cranks. Like. Never seen it. Oh, I have seen it. That movie sucks. Also, Tim Allen. Tim Allen. What a surprise. Harold oh. and Kumar. <laughs> Polar Express. Oh, look yeah. at that nightmare feel. I loved that movie when I was a kid. Uh, me too. I had the little bell. Me too. Santa never came. Um, Charlie Brown Christmas is fine. And then you just get into the weird Hallmark movies. Yeah, like the, the Family newer Stone, ones. The Family Man, Jingle Jingle, jingle. jingle. <laughs> Ernest Saves Christmas, The Holiday, the holiday. with holiday. Dave Franco and Jack, Jack Black. Black? <laughs> is that like one of those movies where they switch wives or something? Is this a fireman movie? Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. That movie sucks. <laughs> People, Prancer. Ooh, Prancer. The best man holiday. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, that's not a Christmas movie. Planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> oh. Christmas in Connecticut. Santa Claus the movie. I can't do this. Holiday affair. Oh, gosh. Polar Express. There you go. 2004. Wow. Every Harry Potter movie is basically a Christmas movie. I definitely feel that way. And I don't like any of them. Yeah. They're fine. The The man who invented Christmas. Jesus. Jingle all the way with Arnold. Arnold. Mixed nuts. I love that. (laughs) Yeah. I really don't like Jim Carrey's A Christmas Carol. Yeah. Die Die Hard's on the list. (laughs) Dude, people love Die Hard. Yeah, this is just a... You have a Christmas story. Elf. You know what? And then you have... Bad movies. I take it back. We need to make a good Christmas movie. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Love yeah. Actually is not a Christmas movie. Oh my gosh. What a depressing little thing. Vince, Vince Vaughn, Vaughn. Reese Witherspoon. He's in movies? Yep. Wow. Voice. Another gremlins is that really a christmas? no it just happens during christmas tokyo godfather <laughs> that sounds horrifying <laughs> another, another miracle, miracle so there's multiple miracles in uh 34th street it's a pretty special street trading places i could not ever tell you i what happens in that movie don't no <laughs> can't say that joie noel is that about nazis no it's a good christmas movie um saints and soldiers <laughs> the world war ii film it yeah, takes place christmas in movie it takes place in the snow fargo there's snow everywhere yeah christmas movies suck why did, i don't understand there's a christmas story and then it just can't be topped i i just like christmas the vibe spending time with family i love giving gifts i think it's fun to sit down exchange love for each other you know spend sure. time play a bunch of board games it's nice and warm the food is good I like the smell of Christmas for about two weeks, and then I hate the smell of Christmas. I just like it when it's cold. And I love the cold. I like going out on like a Christmas night and seeing all the lights. I like that. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you guys calm down. I like they, they I like it. when towns put effort into decorating like the streets. It's very nice. It's nice. Um, do you like receiving gifts or giving gifts more? Giving gifts. Me I love too. to give gifts. I think it's so fun. And that's not like a Looking at my back. Yeah. It's no. just, I think there's like nothing more fun than like thinking, especially of like a stupid gift. Yeah. And like seeing their react. It's just so fun. It is fun. It's like, I love that. So I, I love, love getting like gifts too. Jackman. I love both. I like to see their faces. I just like to see their faces. The amazement. <laughs> Are you watching closely? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a nice little. Yeah. A little discussion there. A little discussion for Christmas time. And that's that, that's it for this little uh, chit-chat. 
Oh. Ooh, I like that chit chat. Yeah. The chit chat on the couch. The couch chit chat. <laughs> chit chat chat. <laughs> Triple C H. Uh, thank you to John, Cody, and Emmett <laughs> for for <laughs> supporting this. And uh, if you guys want, if you out there listening or watching want to support us, head to patreon.com slash futon talks. And if you don't want to give us anything, then head over to YouTube futon talks and subscribe comment share like and we'll see you on the next one we love you regardless love you bye bye